I'm about to show y'all the best ways you can get rid of the jet and the MK2 oppressor griefers. Mafia! This is how you get rid of the jet griefer and the oppressor griefer. This is how you get rid of the jet griefers in GTA Online. The difficulty ranges from medium to hard. Here are the tools that you need. The laser jet. If you know how to fly a jet really well, then use it. But if you're like me, then you need E-Rounds on the MK2. The CEO to go off radar and job teleportation. Now, like I've said before, the goal is not to get the most kills. The goal here is to be annoying. As the days go by, bro, it gets harder and harder for me to do this shit. Primarily because some people know who I am. And when I join the lobby, they know exactly what type of time I'm on. So just imagine if everybody knew what to do when they saw a jet griefer. No fly zone, yes sir. This is how you get rid of them. Go off radar and get on top of a building. Make sure you get on top of a building that's far away from the jet. And this is how you piss them off. You don't even have to kill them. All you have to do is pop their ass one time with the E-round shot. Nine times out of ten, it's either they gonna jump out that shit or make their way back to the hangar. When a jet is flying across your screen, you gotta aim in front of the jet. If you miss your shot, all you gotta do is make the proper adjustments. On this shot, I aimed a little bit too far away. Make the adjustment. Now in this situation, I was in a 3v1. It was two people on the ground and one person inside of a jet. One out of the two people that were on the ground kept going off radar, going inside RC cars and shit. And if y'all remember the video that I made on how to kill the God Mode van griefer, this is the same lobby. Buddy in the God Mode van switched to the jet, swear to God. I killed that boy like three or four times after this kill. Oh, just be patient. Then you can shoot that motherfucker right out that shit. Yes, sir. So let's just say the person in the jet catches you outside and you can't get to your e-rounds. What you can do is attempt to shoot them down with the rocket. This shit takes a ton of skill and it's not really effective if you don't know how to rocket spin. And I would also like to mention that the RPG strat doesn't really work on good jet griefers. The ones that are really good at using the jets, they know how to stay above you so you can't shoot them with the rocket. And if you're ever in a situation where you're facing a good jet griefer, go off radar and job teleport. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you job teleport. Yes, sir. Press pause, go to online, then options. Make sure your matchmaking is closed and put this option on don't join. Next thing you want to do is open up your interaction menu and go to map blip options. Go to jobs and then make sure everything in here says show. For example, let's just say there's a jet coming towards you and you blow yourself up. You expand your map and you notice that he's all the way down at the airport but he's turning back around all you got to do is open up your map and hover over any one of these jobs on the map hover over the job and then press square to start it as soon as you press x to start the job disconnect your controller now once this screen pops up you gotta wait 30 to 40 seconds before you can plug back in your controller now me personally i don't count the seconds all you gotta do is wait for the background noise to fade out and then fade back in Congratulations, you just job teleported, yes sir. The second way to job teleport is really easy. Instead of going to your map, you're gonna go to online and then just spam X from here. Keep spamming X. You're gonna get to this screen right here, just click X. And as soon as you hit the clouds, disconnect your controller. Wait for the background noise to fade out and fade back in. Yes, sir, Ski, you got it. Now, the third and final way to job teleport is through the RC Bandito. If you're facing a griefer that has a thermal jet, it's gonna be hard because he can still see you. Go to any location you wanna spawn at, press pause, go to online, and just spam X. Now for this one, you don't need to disconnect your controller. Go ahead and load in the job, yes sir. When the option to quit pops up, quit the game. When you load in, you end up right where your RC was, yes sir. 
or you can teleport to your orb to scare the fuck out of them you don't even gotta use it just look at the map and watch them disappear quick as hell but if you're caught outside and you can't access your e rounds all you have to do is call up your terabyte or moc and i'm already knowing sometimes rockstar be putting the moc or your terabyte like 50 blocks down the street all you gotta do is go off radar and head to the terabyte or moc go ahead and put them e rounds on yes sir now shoot his goof ass right out the sky This is how you get rid of the oppressor griefers. The difficulty ranges from easy to medium. You're gonna need the Torador, the Deluxo. This is a must have. Imani Tech vehicles with the missile lock jammers. Go ahead and throw the armor on too, yes sir. You need a CEO for BST, the marksman rifle, the heavy MK2 sniper, the precision rifle, and the musket, yes sir. I almost forgot you need the Ruiner 2000. I'ma show y'all the way I killed these griefers with the vehicles first. When you lock on to the oppressor with this shit, 99.9% .9 of the time, bro, they're done. If you miss with this shit, it's because they blew themselves up, they jumped off, or they teleported. When using the Ruiner 2000, all you have to do is jump in the air to lock onto them. If they can lock onto you, you can lock onto them. Look at that boy, he's a dead man and he don't even know it yet. No sir, I'm not finished. It was two of them. They jumped me earlier. So I called up my homies in the lobby and we started fucking them up before they left. Replay, yes sir. This MK2 griefer killed one of my supporters. Oh no. With the Torador, all you gotta do is face towards him. I'll say about 95 to 96% of the time you're going to hit him. That boy really thought he was safe. Get the fuck down, boy. There's a very 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 small chance that they can evade the rocket but if you're able to lock on yeah just go ahead and give you the kill if they don't blow themselves up first my homie got his kill back yes sir and then this random got on an mk2 and tried to kill me i'm like get the fuck off of that shit bro get off that bike Hit that boy with the minigun. Squad, put him in a coffin. Put him in a coffin. Whew. Three zero. Cry. Now, another vehicle you can use to take down the pack of flies. Go ahead and cop yourself one of the Imani Tech vehicles. Yes, sir. Go ahead and put on the missile jammer and the armor. Oh, yeah, you good to go. All you got to do is turn your camera around and watch them struggle. <laughs> Bro, oh my god. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, boy. Hit the ass with the sticky bomb, sir. The final vehicle that you can use is the Deluxo. The Deluxo icon will pop up. All you gotta do is time it perfectly. Step inside the car when they start flying towards you. But don't let them get too close because they can still lock on. Give that boy no room to react. He is over with. Game over. Now here's the hard part if you haven't job teleported already to get one of the vehicles to destroy the griefer you're gonna have to try to knock that motherfucker off the bike so the first way you can do it which is the hardest way i highly recommend you do not do this you can snipe him off of it that boy got right back on that shit and i took his ass right back off This man couldn't kill me on the ground, so he had to hit me with the orb. I don't know why Rockstar didn't give me this kill. Bro, that boy is on life support. Most of y'all are in this situation. They're too far up, so you can't lock onto them, and they kill you. All you gotta do is job teleport, hop into one of the fly swatting vehicles, yes sir, get them the fuck up out of there. If they're close to the ground and you can lock onto them, you can use the musket, yes sir. Make sure you pop that BST too, don't forget it. This guy on the oppressor was causing problems. I took that boy out with the precision rifle. Yes, sir. And make sure you throw on that BST. It's one to two shots. And 
And lastly, you can use the MK2 Marksman with the holographic sight. Yes, sir. This one has the most range and accuracy. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed that shit. In the next one, I'm going to show y'all the different tactics you can use to get rid of the Night Shark Griefer and the Torador Griefer. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button. Turn on them notification bells. I love y'all. I'm out this bitch.